Good morning, students and parents, to St. Francis de Sales morning prayer and reflection for Wednesday, April 22nd. Today we're going to look at our saint of the day, St. Albert of Prague, and over, look over a couple items uh, just for the school week uh, while you're at home. Uh, today is also Earth Day, and what are the implications of things we can do at home to support Earth Day? Uh, that are reasonable and kind of take it as you choose it. St. Adalbert of Prague was uh, living between 956 and 997. When he was 27, he became uh, the Bishop of Prague. There was a lot of back and forth movement between the Christians or Catholics in that area. Uh, and St. Adalbert was working hard to make some reforms to improve the actions of the clergy in the area and just adhere to really the mission of the church. Unfortunately, because there was resistance to his efforts, he was exiled, um, sent away, and then people saw the light of their mistake. He came back to be the bishop and then again, pushed out of the area. Um, there's a lot of back and forth movement. Ultimately, uh, St. Adalbert and two companions were martyred uh, because they were preaching the gospel to the people in the area of the Baltic Sea. There was some resistance to that. And uh, unfortunately, he and those two companions were martyred. Their martyrdom is true. They were preaching the gospel. So it's dangerous work to do that. So let's take a moment to reflect upon St. Albert of Prague and preaching the good news in that time and sometimes today can be dangerous work. Albert fearlessly preached Jesus's gospel and received that martyr's crown for his efforts. His passion has created modern martyrs today in many places, particularly in places in Central and South America, some areas of Africa. And those martyrs grew up in areas that were once evangelized by Adalbert in other missionaries like him. So we wanna take a moment and pray for those missionaries uh, that are taking the gospel out to people to their homes, to their communities that hadn't been aware of it. It's important to do that because that is an active part of the church to spread the good news. We do that by teaching. We do that by uh, reading scripture. We do that by attending mass. We do that by working together in community through our corporal works of mercy and spiritual works of mercy. And hopefully that that spreads the seed uh, of the good work, the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel message to others that have not heard it or had not had open ears to really hear the message and open hearts to let that message sink into them. It's important to do that. So we ask God to bless us in the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Father, we ask for you to bless and take care of our modern missionaries. We ask that you provide us with wisdom and the whole gifts of the Holy Spirit to continue to do your work. We give thanks and praise to you for all of our opportunities today to grow in wisdom and love, to work together. And in a particular way, we ask that you give us courage in these times to provide wisdom to our political leaders, to grant strength and protection to our health workers and essential workforce and for all of our benefactors that make our school possible. St. Francis of Sales has been around for about 58 years. So somebody took a chance at that time to start this school. And we ask that you give us strength to live up to that vision. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Just a couple items for this week. You know, we're, we continue to work hard um, 
I know that uh, each of you is doing your best to, to do your, your schoolwork, to do your duty, to do your chores at home, to be supportive to your parents and your siblings and really just get things accomplished. So we're very grateful for that. Uh, today is Earth Day. It's a different kind of Earth Day than what was you know, started about 40 years ago. Um, but we do need to think about God's creation. We need to be aware of our actions um, and that those actions do kind of ripple out. Like when you toss a pebble into a pond, there are cascading effects that happen. So maybe it's an opportunity. You know, it's going to be a nice day. It's about 65 degrees. When work, your school work completed, we need to take a break to sit and, and uh, take in nature a little bit in the yard. Um, maybe you can see some wildlife come in, maybe some birds. Maybe you have, uh, have deer that go through, your, through the yard or across the street or things like that. It's an opportunity to do that and be thankful. A lot of families are starting to grow their own little victory gardens. And the victory garden is a small garden where they plant seeds and they're able to um, work the land a little bit and have fruits like strawberry patch or something like that and vegetables, tomatoes, peppers, peas, even potatoes, you know, and it's an opportunity to have some local food. It's a good project, a lot of great science. Um, and it's a good idea. You know, we did that as I did that as a kid, we had strawberry patches in the backyard and they were great. <laughs> so, um, just some things to consider as time moves forward and um, just keep working hard, do the best you can. And we're very grateful for all of that. And we'll connect tomorrow. Have a great day.